point is, the triumphal entry was April 6th of 32 AD. Here's what's interesting. If you go from 445, March 14th of 445 BC to April 6th, 32 AD, 445 to 32 AD is 173,740 days. Remember, there's no year zero. From March 14th to April 6th, another 24 days, and the leap years, if you go through all that rigmarole, is 116 days. And when you add that up, between the degree of Artaxerxes Longimanus in March 14th of 445 BC, and the triumphal entry in which Jesus deliberately presents himself as the king, the Messiah, the, the Mashiach Nagid, is 173,880 days. What was Gabriel's margin for error? Zero. Right on the money. And incidentally, the Septuagint translation, set aside who wrote Daniel, set aside uh, all those things. It was in black and white as part of the Septuagint translation three centuries earlier. Remarkable, astonishing. The more you analyze this, you come to the inescapable conclusion that Jesus Christ was the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies. He presented himself on schedule as the Messiah, the King to Jerusalem. You say, gee, wasn't his death a tragedy? No, it was an achievement. That's what he was born for. That's what he came to do, to die for you and I. Yet the most remarkable element of this iconic event may well be the prophecy that first described it. A prophecy delivered by the Hebrew priest Zechariah 500 years before Christ was born. What Zechariah is saying, and we have to remember, Zechariah is writing after the Babylonian captivity. There is no king on the throne at that point. Uh, no one from the line of David is ruling as the king in Jerusalem. And what he's saying is, I see in the distant future, the king is coming again. The rightful heir of David, the son of David, is going to come riding on the donkey colt, the one who is anointed to be the Messiah. He makes a definite messianic promise that is fulfilled when Jesus rides into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. In this first century culture, when there was an anticipation, was the Messiah going to come? Who was he going to be? When would it happen? What would he exactly be like? To have Jesus emerge in a way that fulfill the prophecies unlike anybody else was God's way of saying, you can trust Jesus. He is the one I sent.